Angkor Archaeological Park in northwestern Cambodia is home to the magnificent centuries-old temples of the mighty Khmer Empire. One of the most visited and oldest of these is the Temple of Phnom Bikang, perched atop a solitary hill at the heart of Angkor. Built as a state temple between the late 9th and early 10th centuries by King Yasovarman, Phnom Bikang represents Mount Meru, home of the Hindu gods. The temple plan is a stepped pyramid with 60 sandstone towers rising from the corners of each of five terraces. Despite its architectural and historical significance, the temple is popular today mainly for its panoramic view of Angkor Wat, particularly at sunset. Phnom Bikang faces serious structural issues, most visible at the corners of the temple where walls and shrines are severely damaged. Jungle overgrowth and lack of maintenance has shifted the stone, allowing water to enter the structure and cause erosion and collapse. World Monuments Fund and Apsara, the authority for protection and management of Angkor, began work at Phnom Bikang in 2004 by conducting a study that focused on the site's history, significance, and current condition. In this initial phase, a pilot project on the collapsed southwest corner was implemented, along with urgent stabilization measures throughout the temple complex. With additional support from the U.S. Department of State in 2007, WMF launched the second phase of the project, stabilizing and restoring the temple's east side. Based on extensive documentation and research, and the completion of the pilot project, this second phase addresses the most urgent challenge at Phnom Bikang, protecting the temple from further deterioration through stabilization, waterproofing, repair, and partial reconstruction. In 2011, the U.S. Department of State provided additional support enlarging the scope of the project to include the eastern halves of the south and north sides of the temple. Along with concentrating on the site's immediate conservation needs, World Monuments Fund is also addressing the temple's most dire and long-term threat, uncontrolled tourism. <laughs> A popular destination for sunset visits, the temple platform is often occupied by as many as 1,000 visitors at a time, who disregard the fragility of the monument in a mad scramble for a place to sit. A management strategy developed with the Apsar Authority and implemented in 2011 will be a prototype for other temples at Angkor that are also suffering from the wear and tear of too many avid but inadequately supervised visitors. It is through this strategy of addressing both a site's immediate and long-term threats that the World Monuments Fund ensures today's cultural treasures will survive to be shared by generations to come. <laughs>